Good morning. 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 So it is now afternoon. I've been editing yesterday's video all morning because somebody was up. We're just walking around the block. Outdoor exercise. I think we're gonna go look at the canal and look for turtles. Aunt Linda went to the gym. It's my Aunt Linda right there. She's coming back from the gym. They're blocking her so she can't go to the house. So this was all covered the other day when I drove my van through it like an idiot. There's a little bit of Hurricane Irma aftermath, not much. Are they Ninja Turtles? And there's a baby gator way out there. That little dot next to all these beautiful reflections and banana trees. It's actually a really good shot. You're missing out on all the turtles. That's the secret turtle spot. Nobody knows about it, but Florida has its beautiful scenery. This family lunch is sponsored by Public Subs. Funded by Amy. Funding. New idle pulley in the mail from Amazon. It's $15. We're gonna go install this right now, see if that helps with my squeak. This is my attentioner pulley. That's what we're removing right now. All right, found the issue right here. My harmonic balancer is completely separated. Separating. There you go. Is that's, it that piece right there? It's not. This is not supposed to happen. <laughs> that's supposed to be one piece. Oh. Yeah. There is my harmonic balancer. That inside piece is spinning, and then touching this, and that's why it's squeaking. It's it smells burnt. So I ordered a new piece. It's on the way already. Twenty bucks. Real video games. Magic carpet. I'm women. I'm on a magic carpet. Magic carpet. Bye, 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 bye. bye guys. Oh, See you bye. later. No, I'm not sitting in the back. Hotel. I'm driving. Which hotel? Yeah. Just... Oh yeah, this is fixed now. We fixed what? it. It's an Escalade. Bye, Escalade. I'll stand out. Let you know I got there. Now that it's quieted down a bit, we're going to try to rebuild the front brake caliper on this Honda Helix. Never done it before, but it's time to sharpen the saw. So we're gonna take this bad boy off. We're going to move all of this stuff, take off the banjo, pull out the pistons, pull out the old rubber seals, put in the new rubber seals, polish the pistons up, refill it with brake fluid, and hopefully it works. Oh, I should have done, I should have taken everything off and then pumped these out all the way to get them fully exposed so I could pull the rest of them out. That would have been smart. This was kind of stupid. They're all the way in, and I don't have a way to get them out other than pulling on them with some pliers which will score. We're gonna try it. Didn't think that one all the way through. All right, so I am able to get some movement like this and clamping around it, twisting and pulling and twist and pulling. And it's coming out and you see how nasty and pitted this is. And we got number one out. We're gonna polish her up real good. And we're going to change the seal in here. That is probably 30 years old. Clean her up real good. Coming slowly. So much gunk. This would have been so much easier if I would have just pumped the brakes to get these pistons out. I'm an idiot. Got them. So we got our two pistons that we're gonna need to polish up and clean up and replace both seals in here. There are a total of four seals. First thing we're gonna do is spray it down with some brake parts cleaner. We're gonna pull out our old seals. There's one right in the front, and then there's one right behind it. They're still stretchy. 
Those seals might still have been all right, but we're gonna replace them anyways. We're gonna clean up in here real good. And the top places where the seal seat is like super corroded, I'm like picking at it like a dentist. I'm gonna fill these cylinders up with CLR, the blast, whatever it is, calcium line or lime or rust. Hopefully that does something. It's not bubbling at all. So who knows what material this is. Just trying to clean it out so the next seals fit in nicely and we blow it out with air real good dried out i don't think the seals were bad on these i do believe that the pitting on the pistons is what's keeping them from going in and out correctly so we're gonna polish these up real good try to get that pitting off as best as possible and then reinstall them into our new seal caliper didn't really necessarily need new seals but we got them anyways this is what really needs to be fixed are these pitted up pistons Got some of the pitting on this one real bad. We're gonna hit it with some wires. Try to polish it out. It's actually doing pretty good. Piece of cardboard sandwiched in between just to protect it on the vise. And the main amounts of pitting is gone. There are some marks from my own removal. It does look a lot better. We're gonna continue to work on it and doing some final polishing with this abrasive Scott, what are these, Scott, Scott Bright or Scott Guard or whatever. I think it's Scott Bright pads. Do some final polishing. They definitely look better than they did. That is 100% sure. I really wish I was more gentle taking them out because it is kind of torn up along like this last quarter inch. Hopefully it's not gonna be sharp enough to damage the seal or rough enough to uh, stop the pistons from moving. So that's the, uh, the issue we've been having is the pistons are not sliding. The pistons by no means are perfect, but they are a lot better. I really wish I didn't tear them up with the pliers. That was stupid. I should have used a uh, piston extractor or pressed them all the way out. And then um, they would have been only a little bit that I had to pull on to get it out. It would have gotten out a lot easier. It wouldn't have been chewed up. I'm gonna install the new seals into the uh, brake caliper. We're gonna go with the back seals we're gonna do the back seals, which are the big square seals first, and then we're gonna do the front seals, and we're gonna dip them in brake fluid for the lubrication. Put a little bit of brake fluid in the cap. Get that seal in there. Will that even fit? It does indeed fit. It didn't look like it was gonna fit, but it went in there pretty good. That one went even, even easier. And then for our two front seals, the uh, first seal is the one that actually acts as a reverse spring. It twists as the piston is is uh, pressed out and then it retracts uh, when you let off the brake. And then this one is the one that contains everything and keeps all the brake fluid. The fourth seal is in. All right, and we're gonna pour a little bit of brake fluid in there. Get it on the get it on the cylinder, oh, we're leaking. Get it on the cylinder walls and such. Dip my pistons in brake fluid and press my pistons back in. It looks gorgeous. Do the other one. Get a little brake fluid on the piston. Wow, that looks so, already looks so much better than it did before. And they actually move in and out very easily now. I think it's going to rebuild fine. It's not gonna be 100% perfect because of the, uh, the, the small gashes in there, but it will be, we're going for function and not a complete restoration. So as long as it works, I'll be happy. And I made sure the caliper was completely dry before I did this. I blew a bunch of compressed air inside of it. The pistons are seated all the way in. I'm going to open up the bleed valve and pour in some brake fluid into the uh, banjo where the banjo uh, bolts in. I really do not know if I'm doing this the right way, but we'll see. We're going to reconnect the banjo. Let me top this off one more time. And there's probably a little bit of air getting into the brake line that we're going to have to bleed out, unfortunately. So we want the banjo kind of to be like that. <clears throat> I reverse installed everything. I put some copper anti-seize or lubricant on these pins just a little bit so that these pads will be able to uh, move pretty freely in and out without much trouble, without seizing up. 
Uh, we're going to reinstall the bolts. I'm gonna put a little bit, I put a little bit of uh, calipers back on banjos tight. Um, I pressed, I opened the reservoir and have uh, pressed all the way down and filled it with as much fluid as possible. Um, I am now running out of hands, so I got my mom here. She's going to man the brake on this side while I try to bleed any. So I was opening and closing the bleed valve while my mom was pressing and holding the brake the way you bleed a brake, basically. Um, she would press it, creating pressure, and then I would open it, releasing the possible air and pressure, and then I would close it, and then she would release, and then she would press it, and then I would open it, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it is tight. Um, I wanna do a spin of the wheel. Whoa. All right, so lean back. All right, cool. Wheel spins good, and then pull the front brake, pull the front brake. Awesome, that feels good, cool. I think it works. All right. Thank you. Oh, crap. Now it's time to clean up. Yes, get on that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a new front brake. Hopefully, I'll check tomorrow, see if we have any leaks. I'll put a, a piece of uh, paper over it and we'll check for leaks tomorrow. Hopefully we don't have one. It's possible though, because of the way I scored the pistons. But if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, even though we worked on a brake on a scooter, if you're not interested in that, I'm sorry. If you have any encouraging comments, I'd love to hear them, and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Hopefully, there's no leaks. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mom just drank her coconut that she got for her birthday, and she cracked it. Look how perfect this is. It's like absolute perfect coconut. It's not a young coconut. It's a middle-aged coconut. Snow white and delicious.